Hey dudes, the average uploader here, and I'm bringing you what's going to be hopefully a very helpful little Photoshop tutorial series. Oh, uh, what's different about all of the other uh, 5 million Photoshop tutorials out there? I hear you ask in your beautiful voice, and what I would say to you is that uh, the difference is that I'm not a pro. And you may be like, well, how is that a good thing? And the good thing is that I learned what I know about Photoshop the same way in which you're trying to now, you know, by watching tutorials and, you know, getting to grips with things, what is probably the hard way, you know, with no mentoring aside from the actual tutorials themselves. And, you know, I'm going to try and keep them good quality. Uh, you know, I I've seen the folly of many tutorial people. They, for example, may not have their quality good enough for people to see what's going on on the screen or they will make the tutorials half an hour long and people just lose patience and they skip past things and you know it's really hard to know what's going on so I'm gonna try and keep these you know concise enough to keep your attention but not go too fast so that you don't know what's going on which is gonna be hard but I will try my best in today's episode we're going to talk about setting up your canvas now I'll explain what that is in just a second so let's just assume that you've loaded up Photoshop for the tutorials that I'm doing I'm going to be using Photoshop CS5. I'm aware that CS6 is out or is coming out or something along those lines but they're all really the same. Um, you know they just kind of get more polished every year. So the first thing that you want to do is because uh, I know that from seeing all of these different buttons and toolbars and everything for the first time it's really really intimidating because you don't know what any of them do. So we're gonna take this step by step. We're gonna go to file, we're gonna go to new and here you will see a very very little important box. Okay, so in this box you've got to choose your name. You'll see that it has presets, the size of the box in which you want to work with, which is also known as the canvas. You have the color mode and the background contents and then the advanced. And these tutorials are, as I said, basic tutorials, so I'm not going to go into the advanced settings just yet. Um, yeah, so the first thing that you want to do, and the most important thing really, is to name the document. So, I'm just going to call this, I don't know, Tutorial 1. There you go. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is the presets. Now, if you click this drop down, you'll see that there are lots of different things. There are the ones put in there by Photoshop. There's Clipboard, which I'll talk about in a bit, which is very useful. Default Photoshop size, which is, you know, what you might want to go on if you're just messing around and trying things out. There's your own presets, and then it has some extra useful ones, you know, United States paper, international paper, photo, web, mobile devices, film and video, and then custom, okay? So we're going to go to custom, and then what we can do is we can set the pixels, or if you click this drop down here, we can set it to inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, pikas, or columns. Uh, I usually stick to pixels, centimeters, and inches may help if you're doing some more graphics work that involves, I don't know, a client asking for a specific size if they want to print it out on paper and you know the dimensions of A4 or A6 or whatever you want. But anyway, I'm just going to have it as pixels and my YouTube screen size is 1280 by 720 to get the 720p resolution. Okay, so I'm going to have that and I like that. The color mode can just stay as it is, it doesn't really matter, and I can have my background contents. I'll just leave it as white, but I'll explain what that does uh, in a bit. So there you go, that's what I've wanted to set it up as. You can change this to your heart's content, and I'm going to save this as a preset instead of clicking OK. And there you go, you'll get a new box pop up and it'll ask you to choose a name for your preset. So I'm just going to call it YouTube 720p. And I'm going to include, now, here you can choose what you want to include in the preset. So, you want to save the setting of the resolution, you want to save the setting of the color mode, the content. Basically, you want to save everything. Click OK. And now, if you go down this drop down, you can see that in your presets, there it is, YouTube 720p. And you can select that every time you open up a new YouTube document, not YouTube document, Photoshop document, sorry. And select the YouTube one, if you want. And you'll see there, it tells you the projected file size for the blank image. So if you just saved it as is once you opened up the document, it would be 2.64 megabytes. Which is quite big for a photo, but there you go. So, to make your document, you want to click OK. They see there, create a new document using the specified settings. And just wait for it to load. And there you go. So, it'll open up this, okay? Now, that's pretty much as far as we're going to go. 
in this tutorial, remember just basic, taking it step by step, that's the first thing you do when you want to make a new document in Photoshop. Uh, you'll see there it's called the name of which you chose and if you want to change the document size at any point you can you go up to image scroll down to canvas size alternatively you can press the alt control and c key for windows click there and it will tell you by default it will tell you what it is in centimeters but i'm just going to change it back to pixels and you can see there 1280 by 720 and there you go and as you can see it loaded the document with a white background like we chose so yeah, that's pretty much it. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go over what this little tool is here, the selection tool, and how to deal with selection on a wider variety of images. So yeah, that was it for today. I hope this helped. I'm the Average Uploader, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.